What's going on everybody? Kyle Powers here, Haven Real Estate Group at eXp Realty. Today here, we have another very special guest with me for local legends of the Flint Hills. I've got Jason Meisenberg here with Carpet Cleanse. Jason, thank you so much for joining me here. Jason, let's just kind of get right into it, man. Tell me a little bit about that day when you first woke up and was like, I'm going to clean carpets for the rest of my life. This is what I want to do. Well, I, I'll kind of explain it kind of like what one of my coworkers always says to customers is, you know, I grew up as a kid wanting to clean carpet. <laughs> <laughs> no, my story is, it, it's a little different. I didn't really, you know, of course I didn't really just want to clean carpet, you know, or ever know that I'd be in this industry. Out of college, I came to work for Restore the Heartland, another local company here that did fire, water, mold, restoration, and they had carpet cleaning as an option as well. So after nine years of working there, I kind of developed a passion for the customer service experience. So after nine years there, I sat down with, with Joe, the owner, who's actually my father-in-law. So we had a discussion and went over things about how, you know, buying out that division of the business might be a good fit for me. And so in 2013, I bought out that side of the restoration division and I rebranded it to Carpet Cleanse. But that's awesome. Yeah. So, so 2013, 2013. You, uh, you started Carpet Cleanse and never looked back and decided that's where you're running with it, huh? So um, tell me a little bit about Carpet Cleanse, right? Where, how many locations do you have? Uh, where did the name come from too? Uh, our headquarters is right here in Manhattan. We do have a Salina office that's kind of slowly getting off the ground. I tried to start that right when COVID hit, so that wasn't a real <laughs> fun experience. But So we're just trying to find a good fit of people there and then hopefully somebody that can just run with that and then we'll think about maybe a third location. But yeah, Carpet Cleanse, the name itself, you know, I just kind of, I wanted something that sounded more of a health-related thing and the word cleanse is always, you know, it's it's a big topic everywhere. So I figured if we could just you know, bunch the two together and call it carpet cleanse. It might just be a good fit for where we were going. So one of the things that I always uh, appreciate about your your business and your company and, and what you guys do here is is kind of your marketing strategies, right? Uh, I We were looking right here before uh, we jumped on camera, your, mm -hmm. your parking violations right. that you have and things like that. Do you have a marketing background and where does that come from or is that just natural? I do. I mean, I went to college for business with an emphasis in marketing. So, I mean, it, I do have a little bit of a background there, but to me, it, it does just come a little bit natural. You know, we like to have fun with things and we've fig figured out in our industry, carpet cleaning doesn't sound like a very glorious job <laughs> for anyone. But so we try to make it fun. We found that comedy through marketing has been has been big for us, like like a lot of people have. So it just it's kind of our fit. And that's that's kind of our thing. And you do a good job at it. I will say that. <laughs> I think your social media posts, I think for a while you guys did like the the singing in the van and, and all that kind of stuff. And even the parking violations and just kind of putting out there. It's So kudos to you guys on that Thank deal you. of it. I, I appreciate, always appreciate the humor that you guys pull into that stuff. Uh, let's tell everyone like, what's your vision for Carpet Cleanse in the future? You know, initially when I first started Carpet Cleanse, the overall goal was to turn it into the franchise type model, you know, that was the initial goal. And it's still a goal, you know, getting there. It, it, it's been a process. So I decided a few years ago that if I wanted to go that route, I probably need to see if I could duplicate what we've done in Manhattan somewhere else. So I can say to somebody, hey, the models, the systems are here. This is all you need to run with it. Um, I felt like if we could do that in a second location, like we're doing in Salina now, it'd be an easier meeting with the next person to say, hey, We've got a location, would you be interested in this? Or if anyone's coming to us and asking if they can open a location, like I said, kind of like the franchise model yeah. or the licensing type stuff, but that's the overall vision and always has been for the beginning. So we'll see where we take it. Let's say that somebody watching this video today says, oh, I need my carpets cleaned. How do they reach out? What's the best way to get a hold of you? And what does that process look like from reaching out to happy customers, clean carpet? Sure. And I, and I think that whole process over the years with technology has been, been, became easier for everyone. So, I mean, with us, we're a phone call, we're a text, we're an online click away from the initial scheduling part of it through a request on our website or simply texting us or calling us to get something scheduled. But from there on, once you do schedule with us, you know, our motto, company motto has always been, we take the invitation into your home very seriously. So when you call and you do schedule with us, we realize that you are inviting us into your home and we are going to take that invitation very seriously. So as far as, you know, the actual work itself, 
you know, we pride ourselves on, you know, the customer service as aspect of it. Like I said, over my nine years at Restore the Heartland, I along the way developed just a real passion for the customer service experience and just trying to figure out what made people click in their buying decisions or choosing a carpet cleaning company. Uh, and over the years, you know, we figured out that customer service has become just kind of a lost art, which it's a very simple thing in my mind, customer service. If you take really good care of somebody, they're going to take care of you in return. So at this point in Carpet Cleanse, word of mouth and referral marketing is our, our biggest thing. And, and there's no better thing than free marketing and all because we took really good care of people. I guess that kind of goes into my next question is you're in year 11 now, right? You're working on year 11. It's 2024 as we're recording this. What's your secret? <laughs> yeah, I think I just revealed yeah. it. I mean, there, there's no secret sauce when it comes to a service business in my mind. It's like I said, it's just taking really good care of people because anymore we hear so many horror stories of we didn't get a call back they didn't show up we scheduled there was a no show no call and that's just we laugh about it every time because it's it's mind-blowing that that's just a simple part of business is yeah. to just do what you say you're gonna do and take really good care of people simple as that <laughs> and it's true right i mean again we're in a service industry and in, in general and it's it's hard to get people to return calls or to show up or to do that stuff. So I think that just makes it very, very simple for you. Absolutely. So I love it. Before we cut off here, is there anything else you want to tell the viewers, tell anybody else on online here? We get the question all the time about why you over the next, the next company. And as a business owner, for some reason, that's been, always been a hard question for me to answer because I feel like every business owner is going to say we're the best. We're the best at what we do. That's why you should hire us. But, and again, we are the best, but, but I always encourage people to jump online, go check out and see what other people, other customers are saying about, you know, about our work and what we do, because, you know, there's no better way to learn about us than through people that have actually used our service. So I'm going to tell you all day long, we are the best at what we do, but please jump online and take a look at, see what other customers are saying about us. Real quick, before we jump off of here, what is the best way to have someone get a hold of you? What's your phone number, email, website, that stuff? Sure. Uh, you can call, text 785-776-1927. Uh, My email address is jason at carpetcleanse.info, which leads to our website address is carpetcleanse.info. Awesome. Jason, again, man, thank you so much yeah, for, for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Guys, what I'll tell you is that they do a fantastic job. And when he says that they truly take care of their customers and everything that comes with that, I promise you they do. I, I know that they've taken care of me on multiple, multiple occasions. Uh, and then I, I think one of the things that I enjoy the most about what they do is the prep work that goes into before the actual cleaning takes place, right? If it's cold out, they have the door screens. If it's, you know, if they got to go take their hoses around corners, they've got the corner guards. They have all of that additional things, the little stuff that you don't necessarily think about until you look at it and you're like, crap, they just scratch the hell out of my wall and don't know, you know, now I got to go fix it past that part, right? So there's just those little nuances, I think, that that you guys do that I, I do really appreciate. So I will tell you guys that thank you for watching, but thank you, Jason. Yeah, thank you. And I want to tell you guys, please, if you know somebody or if you have anybody who's interested in having their carpets cleaned or anything like that, they do take that care in this one. So please, please, please share this video with them. Let them know that these guys are, are here to stay and they're ready to to take care of them on a high level. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you do enjoy this content and if you have any questions, put in the com comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you do enjoy this content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go and hit that little bell so you get notified of any future content. Give us that like because it does help us grow the channel. Tune in next week because we'll have another great episode of Local Legends of the Flint Hills. Jason, thank you again, man. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you for watching.